hello everyone thanks for joining so today we are going to discuss what a milk atm is and also we'll see various features of the milk atm and discuss discuss them so before we continue i would uh, like you to hit the subscription button below so subscribe to my channel so that you get updated on the new features of the ATM machines so what's a milk ATM milk ATM is a automatic teller machine for dispensing milk and the advantage that comes with the milk ATM is that when you pay your amount let's say as low as uh, uh, 10 shillings it will uh, dispense the equivalent volume to the amount of money that you have provided and this makes it very convenient especially for those people who cannot afford the already packaged quantity let us discuss the main features of a milk ATM a milk ATM is supposed to have a refrigeration system it is uh, the refrigeration system that ensures that the milk is cooled at the right temperature to avoid the spoilage then uh, there is the PLC controller unit this is the programmable logic control unit which also provides the user interface to control the machine so the PLC also acts as the brain of the ATM Next, there's the temperature controller. So temperature controller is very important because it ensures that the milk stays at the right temperature. Normally, the recommended temperature is uh, about 4 degrees Celsius. The next feature is the tanks. Tanks are very important because they provide the storage space for the milk inside the ATM and uh, in most cases it's recommended to have at least two tanks in a single machine this will help ensure that you don't mix the previous day's milk with the new arrival next we have the vending box it's the vending box where the customers container is uh, placed and uh, it's that vending box whereby the milk is uh, dispensed into the customer's container active fan it's important to have an active fan inside the ATM to ensure that there is a free airflow for aeration then we have branding branding is very very important because if the machine is well branded it communicates the message I am a milk ATM so come buy milk here so that's the message that the machine will convey so if you provide a good branding then your machine will market itself to anyone who comes your shop next we have the front door 
So the front door is very important in that it's where we load the milk into the tank and it it also provides the access into the ATM itself. There are a number of factors to consider when selecting a milk ATM which we'll discuss one by one. So the first factor to consider is the capacity of the milk ATM you want and this depends on the amount of milk you are willing to sell let's say if you want to sell a uh, milk of uh, 50 liters uh, daily then it's important that you consider a milk atm with the 50 liters capacity so capacity is very very important factor to consider the next factor to consider is the branding so if you are buying the milk from a given uh, seller or the manufacturer it's important to consider how the seller has done the branding because the branding is supposed to be good enough to enable the machine market itself to anyone who visits your shop. The next factor to consider is uh, the PLC controller. This is the programmable logic control unit. It's supposed to be a stable one with a stable program to avoid uh, bringing you problem in future. The next factor to consider is insulation. The ATM is supposed to be well insulated to avoid uh, losses. So the door is supposed to lock well and ensure that the inside conditions of the ATM are well maintained. What are some of the best practices to consider when uh, operating the milk ATM? Number one thing is to ensure that when you operate the machine, like uh, run the pump, you should ensure that the ATM has got liquid inside and uh, the pipe is well inserted to ensure that you don't run the pump dry so avoid running the pump dry this is because when you run the pump dry you might end up uh, destroying your pump and this can be very costly to you. So ensure that the pump is not running dry. It's also important to connect your ATM to the socket through a fridge guard. Uh, this is to ensure that you don't spoil your a refrigeration system whenever there is power fluctuation. Again you should avoid mixing previous day's milk with the new arrival because when you mix them you might end up spoiling them. So the best practice is to ensure that you have two tanks. If you have a 100 capacity ATM, ensure that you have two tanks 
each of 50 liters capacity so in case you have a previous day's milk you can continue storing it in one tank then add the new arrival milk into the other tank the other important thing is a uh, cleanliness so cleaning your machine it's important that you clean the ATM frequently to avoid uh, uh, bad smell coming from the machine because with the bad smell you'll start losing customers and also if you don't clean the machine you might end up spoiling your milk so ensure that the milk uh, ensure that the ATM is well clean and do it frequently with the warm water so that the fat that sticks on the walls of the pipe can be washed away as well yeah so that's it thank you for watching and uh, remember to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get updated uh, with the new features that comes with the new atms thank you